Zendesk tutorial for customer service, how to use Zendesk. Hey guys, welcome back. In this tutorial, we're going to take a quick look at Zendesk, which now has AI integrated into its customer service capabilities. So you can easily manage your CRM and make sure to create a fast responding AI agent all with Zendesk. Now, the best part about this is that Zendesk is already a very well-established customer service tool and using Zendesk in integration with some of their new AI and AI and automation features can help you in boosting your customer service to the next level. So let's get started with Zendesk. Now to get started, simply head on over to Zendesk and you can click on start your free trial. Once you click on start your free trial, you're going to enter your email address like this. And once you do that, you're going to click on next. So one thing to note is that it does recommend that you get started with your work email. So if you have a business email such as Durden, at store, or any other business email that you're using, I recommend that you use that instead of your personal email. Now, once you have completed your basic information, you're going to input all your basic fields and I'm just going to complete this information. So moving on, we're going to enter our job title like so and then click on next. Once again, you're going to complete the 10 onboarding questions. So what company do you work for? Let's say it's going to be Pink Sakurako. And after that, we're going to add how many employees there are. And then after that, the language you want to use Zendesk in. Lastly, you have to create a suitable password and click on complete trial signup. Now, just in a couple of simple and easy steps, you are now able to create your Zendesk account. So once you have done that, it's time to verify your Zendesk account. So we're going to sign into Google over here and you're going to verify it with your mail. So it's really important that you do verify your mail because sometimes even if it does let you log into your account without verification, you're not going to be able to actually switch up to your actual uh, data unless you do verify your account. So we're going to make sure to verify our account with Zendesk and you're just going to get a verification email and you're going to click on verify your account to proceed with your Zendesk customer service dashboard. Now, once we have done that, you can get started with a personalized free trial, but we're going to skip that and move directly towards our onboarding. Now, over here, we're going to see uh, we're going to see a getting started panel. On the left, you have your home page and below that you have your ticketing section. Below that you have contacts where you can add different contacts or even import contacts. Then you also have companies, analytics, and your basic settings on the bottom. Now we're going to exit this and we can exit our trial as well. So you can choose to get started with the trial version if you want, or you can buy your trial as well. That is totally up to you. But on the left, we're going to get started with our ticketing. Now, a really important feature of Zendesk is to make sure that you're importing your pre-existing data really efficiently. So to do that, let's say I have organizations already added in an Excel sheet or a pre-existing customer service provider. So I can uh, go on ahead and import that data over here. You can click on bulk import and once you click on bulk import this will show you your import organization and you can upload csv files over here if you click on import users over here you can do pretty much the same thing so you're going to import your users from any of your pre-existing platforms once you have imported users or if not if you don't have users if you are getting started with your business you can click on add customer and you can add a customer. Let's say my customer's name is Tony. Let's say it's Tony at Gmail. And I can just click on add and I can add a customer. Now, with every customer, you can click on add contact to add their contact info. Any of the tickets that are related to that customer would be displayed over here. This can also help you in understanding which customers are your frequent customers, which customers might you know have frequent issues, and what type of purchases that they have made with you. Now let's get started with actually setting up our ticketing system. You will see that in our dashboard, we have our trial home and then we can click on our dashboard. On your dashboard, you will see all of your tickets, but an easier way to filter out tickets is to go into the ticket section on the left. Then you can click on actions on the top right. You can, you know, add these or delete these, but we can click on 
over here and delete all these tickets as they are sample tickets. We're going to delete all of this sample data like so, and we can proceed with adding our own tickets. Now, ticketing systems can be automated on Zendesk or they can even be manual. You will see that in your direct ticketing system, you only have the option to clone the view, add the view, or you can click on add over here on the top and you can add a new ticket directly. So first off, you can add a user that is the requester. This can be an end user or a staff member. Let's say I want to add an end user called Mikey or Mike, and we're going to add their email like this. And you can easily do that on the, uh, if you have a customer support email, you can assign a person to support and you can add a follower or a agent. You can add a tag. So this might be a shipping related issue. And then I can add the type. So let's say this is a problem or let's say this is a question because let's say if the issue is highly escalated, then I can add it as a problem because let's say they haven't received their product in over a month. So that might mean that it's a problem, but for something that is normal priority, I can leave it as a question. So I can copy and paste their mail over here. That is an easier way to set this up or directly click on add attachment to add their email as a attachment. Now you can also go on ahead and on the bottom, add a draft mode. So you can leave a ticket as a draft for now. So let's say this is a when will I, when will I get my product like this? And whatever they have inserted, we can add that information over here. We can click on submit as new. Customer hasn't received their order in a week like this. And then we can submit this as a new ticket. Now, once we see a ticket, we will be able to then move forward with the ticketing option. So we can open this ticket up and let's say that i have a new uh, update on their product so i can add that we can also see our side conversation our apps that we have integrated you can also click on close tab and close this particular tab as well and we can also add this in in progress now so now this is an in progress ticket so their product is being delivered or if i have already answered them and they are satisfied with my answer i can mark it as a solved ticket now your ticketing system on the left has multiple different filters and views that you can use this includes things such as your pending tickets new tickets all unsolved tickets as well now moving on to our customers if you want to proceed with your account and delete your sample data you can click on bulk delete over here to delete all of your items from this uh, trial section now, one thing I recommend is you go into your account settings on the top right and you can see you have product updates and you also have app integrations. You have your admin center. And from here, you want to go ahead and in Zendesk's settings, you want to delete your end user. So you will see we have this section for our settings, including our sales channels that we can link, our workspaces, objects and tools, and other apps that can help us in connecting our direct ticketing system to Zendesk. So in this way, you can get started with Zendesk customer service. If you found this video helpful, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you have any questions or queries, leave those in the comment box down below. I would love to know what you guys have to say.